What if your client wants a ton of control over the website that you are building for them? How can you allow them to create landing pages and to modify as many things as possible without having to learn a classes, interactions, and styling. Well, here's what you can do. It's been a while I haven't done a video on this channel, like long form. So I thought about making a video that is more focused on technical stuff. And this video primarily is gonna be really dedicated for Webflow developers that are in a situation where they have clients that want as much control as possible over the website. <laughs> and that potentially even want to create pages by themselves. But at the same time, they don't want to learn classes, they don't want to learn interactions. And in fact, they're not. their clients are not designers, they're not developers. They just want to manage their website and maybe create even landing pages by themselves. Like what if the client wants to create landing pages without having the need to style or to develop anything? What if the client wants to create landing pages by just drag and dropping. Well, it's kind of possible within Webflow. And you can basically achieve that with symbols. You can treat every single section on your website as a symbol. A symbol will be way easier to edit for a client than just edit the raw elements by itself. Now you're gonna tell me, Max, I know what symbols are. I've used them before. Do you think what, I'm an idiot, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So look, it's very probable that a lot of Webflow developers don't know that about symbols, but you can basically assign an input field for every single element you wanna change within the symbol. Let's say I want the client to be able to change uh, the title, this text, and also the icons. I can basically go into the symbol, click for example, the header two, and I can create here, link to field. New field, name it. For example, here I'll name section title. And for example, let's just also deal uh, with the image here, which is the interrogation mark. I want to allow also the client to have a choice to change it by, by himself if you want. Maybe he wants to put exclamation marks in the future, who knows? So here you can also do the same thing, new field. You can say image or name it as, as well as you can. And basically the client can now go click on it and on the side by clicking on the gear, have those input fields that he can change. So now he can go here and say, my custom section and he, he doesn't actually need to go in and change the the values like this the client can literally just click on the symbol and edit everything in the input fields on the side so that's what's very practical and also another use case of that is that you're going to avoid a lot of errors on the website is that sometimes uh, clients, uh, they might go in and say, here, I don't want this text in bold anymore. I'll just delete it. But the thing is that if they delete it, for example, they might delete the bold section. It might erase the whole text. So here we go, an error, something they have to contact you for. For example, if uh, we go here and let's say they're like, oh, I don't want this paragraph. I'll erase it. And again, error. So they might think something that as genuine as I like click and delete for them, like for example, delete just this section of paragraph and they might delete the whole element. So this is more problem for you in the future and more problems for the client. So to avoid that, just by having um, input elements assigned to every single element in the symbol just makes life easier for everyone. And just as a practice run, I just created a symbol and just let's uh, make it kind of dynamic. For example, again, here, it's a symbol. Let's go click on the image. No. New field. Mm, let's say section image. Same thing here. For example, let's say the client wants to change the step in the future. So also let's link it to a field. Um, number txt, let's say. Uh, also here, title. Let's link also this paragraph. And uh, let's say also the icons. Let's say he wants to change it, be able to change icons. So let's go new field icons. And also we can all also link those, uh, I'll link only one, but you get the point. So let's link also this part in the checkbox. That's a better name. So when the client, for example, wants to create a step-by-step -step process, 
Now he has many different uh, symbols that he can use. So for example, for step two, step one, and he can just basically use one, like for example, one symbol in this case. So he can just go here, change the text to 0 0.3. Oop, sorry, point, not point 0.3. I don't know why that point 0.3. So let's say three here, migration. He can make this section as custom as possible. The client can basically uh, do whatever he wants if those fields are linked. So what I would suggest you, if you have a client that really wants to have a lot of control and want to have uh, even the ability to make landing pages, you can basically create all of those sections and transform them into symbols and make them basically an input, input field. Once you do that, the client can literally open, open the symbols page, uh, not the page, sorry, the, the, the sidebar, obviously name them as clearly as possible. The client can basically drag and drop all those symbols and edit the content within it just by editing the input fields. Okay. So maybe you already knew that then bravo, but other than that, now, you know, now you can use that on your websites as well. So tell me in the comments if you found it useful. And if you did, then a like would be very appreciated. And also subscribe to the channel. There is a lot of useful stuff I cover on the channel. And also there is a NFT creation video that you can uh, check out on this channel as well. It was about basically creating a website for NFT as like if it was a company, like for example, Bitcoin has, they have like a corporate website. Also Ethereum, they have a corporate website. NFT doesn't have one, so I thought, why not create one? So you can check it out here. And uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.